This is called an ink transition. It's a type of visual effect where one can transition to another using an ink effect. Creating a smooth and seamless shift between two scenes. Ink transitions are popular in travel films, music videos, and wedding videos. Let's see how you can create this transition in Prima. You can see a few clips and an ink splash footage on the timeline that we are going to use to create today's ink transition. I have chosen similar footage with different movements because it helps to make the transition more seamless. You can experiment with different footage to get the best result. Now let's focus on the ink footage which is important for a smooth transition as it reveals the second clip wherever the ink becomes transparent. If you look at the ink footage, you'll notice it transitions from black to white. There are many ink overlays available online and you'll find a link to one in the description below. For this type of transition, you need ink footage that completely transform from black to white or white to black. If the ink footage doesn't fully transform, you may need to make additional adjustments. You can modify the opacity or scale of the ink overlay using keyframes to control how the ink spreads and reveals the second video clip. Now let's get into the main tutorial. Start by dragging the ink footage to the third layer, positioning it just before the last frame of the first video on the timeline. Next place the second video on the second layer starting from the first frame of the ink overlay so that it sits between the ink overlay and the first footage. The duration of the ink footage will serve as the transition period. This completes the overlapping setup. In this step, we need to apply an effect called Trackmate Key. Go to the Effects tab and search for Trackmate Key and apply it to the second video layer. With the second video layer selected, go to the Controls panel and look at the Trackmate Key effect. In the matte dropdown, change settings from None to Video 3 as Video 3 contains the ink footage. If your ink footage is on a different layer, choose that layer instead. Now move the playhead to preview the timeline. If you don't see any noticeable changes yet, it's because we have not adjusted the composition mode. Go back to the track matte key effect and change composition options for matte alpha to matte luma. Now look at the program monitor and observe the transition. The clips will begin blending together as the ink footage gradually transform from one clip to another using the transparent areas of the ink. If you play the video slowly from the beginning, you'll see how it transitions from first footage to the second. With the second clip fully revealed, when the ink effect turns completely white. After the transition finishes, the monitor will go dark as the ink footage ends. I'll explain how to fix that issue later. Now let's see how the ink transition is working. First, drag the time indicator to the transition area and turn off the second footage by clicking on the eye icon next to it. This way, you only see the ink footage. The white areas in the ink footage represent the transparent areas, which are now revealing the second footage. Meanwhile, the dark areas of the ink footage show the first footage. Essentially, as the ink transitions from dark to white, the transition reveals the second footage, moving from the first clip to the second. Now we can unhide the second footage by clicking on the eye icon again. Move the time indicator back and play through the timeline to see the transition in action. For example, if your ink footage transitions from white to dark, instead of dark to white, the transition will behave differently. To fix this, you can right click on the ink layer, select speed or duration and enable reverse speed option and hit ok. This will reverse the footage changing it from dark to white. I'm showing you this in case you encounter this issue in the future. Alternatively, a simpler option is check the reverse box in the trackmate key effect to fix the white to dark issue. Now let's address the previous issue that needs to be fixed. First move the time indicator to the end of the transition, then take the razor tool from the toolbar and make a cut on the second video exactly at the point where the transition ends. After that switch back to the selection tool and select the separated portion of the second footage. Head over to the effect controls panel and delete the track mid key effect from this section of the video. Instantly you'll notice that the dark skin issue is fixed because this part of the video is no longer tracking the ink footage. Let's now apply another similar ink transition. To do this first, drag this video to the first layer, then hold on the alter key and drag the ink footage to the right to create a duplicate copy, positioning it just before the last frame of the underlying video on the first layer. We now have another video. Grab the third video and place it between the ink footage and the first layer of the video. Next select the footage where we apply the trackmate key effect earlier. Go to the effect controls tab and copy the trackmate key effect, shortcut ctrl plus c. Now select the new second layer video beneath the ink footage and press ctrl plus v to paste the trackmate key effect. And boom, you'll see the second ink transition appear in the program monitor. Now let's make a cut on the extra portion of the second layer video where the transition has finished and the video turns dark. 
hit the CK on the keyboard to activate the razor tool then make a cut exactly at this point switch back to the selection tool by pressing the V key and select the portion of the video that we have just separated after that head over to the effect controls panel and delete the track mate key effect for this part of the video to remove the black screen and reveal the original footage once the transition is finished I hope you enjoyed this simple but interesting transition tutorial. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.